Good morning, hot dogs. Thankfully, it's Friday, another week closer to the end of the school year, and more into these announcements. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coach kits for 9th to 12th grades are available for anyone needing help to in a career and education success. With their future, if you have any questions, you can check it out in the link of the chatter. Don't forget, drug testing forms and parking lot tag forms are due today. So if you don't have a form or you didn't turn it in, this is the final day to turn it in. Starting Monday, there will be parking lot sleeps. So don't forget, now let's send it to Pedro with weather. Thank you, Kyle. Good morning, hot dogs. For today's weather, it will be a sunny day, a temperature of 67 degrees with a high of 89 and a low of 66. Of course, today, this Friday, there is a very low chance that it will rain, so most likely, it will be another happy day unless the fog gets in the way again. So don't get lost. That will be it for today. I hope you all have a fantastic Friday. If they still tell me this is a bag of stale chips, then I don't know how to do anything right. Anyways, let's see what's going on in sports. Austin? The hot dogs were busy last night, and we have your results. First results from Windays Tennis. Single players Jake Swinford and Aiden Hudson battled their matches into the sunset. Aiden tied things up in the second set with patience and good serving. Jake won his first set and his first ever tiebreaker, then dropped the second set, pushing the match into a 10-point tiebreaker. As the match approached the three-hour mark, Jake showed tremendous composure and strategy during the entire match. A lot of learning has taken place in this young hot dog team, and they're up for some challenges. Now on to Nelson with volleyball and cross country. The volleyball team traveled to Southmont on Thursday evening and defeated the Mounties 3-1. Leading the way for the team was Morgan Addison with 20 assists, 5 kills, and 2 aces. Leading the offense was Macy Stair with 12 kills. She also had 12 digs and 3 aces. The Sabre and Mercedes Tony set the team on several runs with four aces. Sadie also had eight digs. Tara Martinez was solid in the back row with seven digs and an ace. And Erica Pillion also had a good night with six digs. The blocking, by <laughs> the blocking combo of Bella Colby and Amber Houchin was key with the team earning three solo blocks apiece. Bella also had seven kills and Amber added two. Cindy Whitaker added three kills and six digs on the match. While Emma Pillion and Erica Stevenson added two digs apiece on the evening. <laughs> on the evening. The team plays in the Kokomo Invite tomorrow at 9 in the morning at Kokomo High School. The JV volleyball team fell to Southmont last night 0-2. Leading the team was Ashley Zhang with 9 out of 9 servings and 3 digs. Justine Thomas had 4 kills and Ella Magaty had 2 kills. Morgan Harrington added 4 digs. Daisy Valdez had 3 digs. And Tiffany Zhang was 2 out of 2 servings and had 2 digs. The girls returned to play on Tuesday against North Montgomery here at home at Case Arena. The boys and girls cross country team hosted 8 schools at the Frankfurt Invitational. The boys team won in impressive fashion, scoring only 24 points, while second, <laughs> second place Hamilton Heights had 41. The team placed in our, our top five inside the top 11 of the whole race. Scoring runners include Bautista Ventura winning the race, followed by Perez in second, Prisha in fourth, Reyes in ninth, and Angeles in 11th. The girls team was missing two girls and finished fifth overall. The girls were led by Karina Alaniz. She won the meet individually by 46 seconds. Karina was also only 11 seconds away from breaking her own home course record <laughs> on an extremely hot day. Other scoring runners were Garcia in 21st, Shilpi in 23rd, Del Toro in 27th, and Garcia in 29th. The Lady Hot Dogs Golf took on Taylor at home on Thursday. Emily Shipley played well and finished with 46. Now on to Avi with soccer. Thanks, Austin. Thursday night, the Frankfurt Hot Dogs had their home opener and started conference play when they p took on the Western Boone Stars. Western Boone controlled, it, controlled the action early, but it was Frankfurt who scored the first on the counter strike from senior, Jose, from senior Damian Lopez to senior Jose Boderas. Damian Lopez recorded his second assist of the night when senior Tornado scored with about nine minutes in the first half. Yubani unleashed a powerful shot from about 28 yards out a minute and a half later to send the Hot Dogs to halftime up. 3-0. In the second half, Frankfurt controlled more of the action than they did in the first half. Jose Boderas added a goal to Frankfurt's scoreboard about 15 minutes left in the second half. 15 into the second half, 
Yubani Tornado completed a hat trick with 12 and a half minutes remaining in the game. Senior Alex Campos performed well in the goal and recorded a shutout for the game. Excellent play from the defense, including junior Marcos Garcia, junior Felipe Tovar, senior Edwin Mejia, and senior Daniel Garcia helped to ensure the clean slate. Frankfurt hosts the Hot Dog Invitational this Saturday. The Hot Dogs play against the Rossville Hornets with the kickoff at 9 a.m., and you better be there. And now for the ladies soccer news. The team took the field Thursday night in an attempt to record the first win of the season against the visiting Sheridan Blackhawks. The Lady Dogs were deeper were deeper thanks to the girls coming back from practice and, egi and eligibility ooh, and COVID pr protocols, so that lead to some crispier play out of the dogs. However, however, Sheridan struck out for the first goal about 10 minutes in. The hot dogs didn't lose their composure and battled, battled to the tie, the score off, an unassisted goal from senior Amelia Alaniz. The tie only lasted for a brief time when the Blackhawks managed to score three, three goals in about 10 minutes to a, of a playoff of some nice combination playing and being aggressive. The Hot Dogs went into halftime trailing 4-1. Some halftime half adjustments so the Lady Hot Dogs get another goal back shortly after the start of the halftime. This goal had an assist of Sheridan on, and when a fellow senior, Mia Hernandez, shot the ball to the far post, which the Blackhawk goalie up dove to a save, then a Blackhawk defender accident, accidentally redirected the save into the goal for an own goal, making the score 4-2. With the plenty of time to play, it was a fairly black back and forth game the rest of the way up with the Hot Dogs, making more and more offensive runs, but couldn't find the back of the net. Sheridan managed to get another goal to push the final score to 5-2, dropping Lady Hot Dogs to 0-2 on the young season. Next up for the Lady Hot Dog, the JV would travel to McCutcheon to play their JV, what was supposed to be a tournament, but the third team had to drop out due to COVID protocols. The varsity will be in action when they travel to Eastern on Monday, looking for the first win of the season. The JV and Happy birthdays go out to Manessa Guardado, Edward Roberts, Ana Isavedra, Valdez, Emily Chavez, De La Rosa, Braden Braus, Braus, Edward Duarte, Giselle Miranda, Marguerite Roberts, and Miguel Santiago. Happy birthday to you and have a great birthday weekend. For today's lunch, lines one and two will be chicken tenders, and three and four will be chicken fajita. For this Monday, lines one and two will be general so, and three and four should be Grilled cheese. Also, here's a fun fact. I don't trust stairs. Why don't you trust stairs? Because there's always something something. They're always up to something. <laughs> well, anyways, that is all for the announcements. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want more from us, or just want to know what's happening, then make sure to hit that bell for more notifications. Have a great day, and see you all on Monday.